never reciprocated. I go so hard for people every time. Anyone who knows me personally knows that is the truth. I am not sitting here lying. I go so hard for people. I love so hard. But the one minute you don't do what people want you to do for them, even though you've always done it. Now that one time that you say no, oh, they don't fuck with you anymore. Now you're no good to them. girl chocolate mini you can also call me Jasmine. so today i wanted to do like a different type of video and i kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things that i really experienced this past year so 2021 and into 2022 when it comes with friends and people that are close to you so you know, I've always been that type of person where I'm going to I'm going to root for you. Like whatever it is you want to do, I'm like your biggest fan. Like you want to go and be an author, I'm going to buy every book, I'm going to share it, I'm going to promote it. Like I'm going to act like it's my business even though it's yours. Like I'm just always going to go hard for you. No matter what it is, no matter how far-fetched it may sound, even if I don't fully see the vision, I'm with you 500%. Like, that's just always been the type of friend that I've been. But I've learned that not everybody is like that. And it, it's really hurtful, especially because it's like, when I'm trying to do something, when I need that support, when I need that shoulder to lean on, everyone's looking around like, like nobody is there for me. You know what I mean? So let me just go into some details. There was one girl who used to be my lash tech and I always got my lashes done from her ever since she had got her license, her certification to be a lash tech. I went so hard for her. I tagged her in every post, every time I got my lashes done, even though I paid full price. Whenever anyone asked me who did my lashes, I would always let them know it was her. As my OnlyFans business started expanding and starting getting to the next level and I learned new things, Every time I learned something, whether it was about business credit or how to build an audience or how to get better content, no matter what it is, like I always shared that information with her, how to fix your credit, all of that. Now I'm trying to be a social media influencer and educate people. How many posts did she share of me? None, not one, not one. So it got to the point where I became really allergic to the lash glue that she was using and I had to end the relationship. And when I told her, hey, you know, this isn't working out anymore. My eyes were getting swollen. I was sneezing and coughing all the time after every install. I was like, I think I'm allergic. It's just time to go back to lash strips. Guess what the first thing she did? She, did? she blocked me from Facebook. She blocked me. We're no longer friends. She didn't want to talk to me. She didn't want to talk about it. She completely blocked me. And that let me know right there, she was never really my friend. She was there for what I was doing for her, giving her that education, promoting her for free, even though I'm paying full price. It got to the point where I was her only lash client. Why am I your only lash client? I don't only have one fan on OnlyFans, right? I have 50,000 fans. I don't just have one fan. But despite all of that, the one time I told her no, we're not friends anymore. I had another friend. I don't know what her issue was. I don't really know what her deal was. She just, she went through a lot of things. So I'm gonna keep it like that. But it got to the point where I'm trying to encourage her to get up off her feet. Like you can do it, you can do it. I'm clapping for her, I'm rooting for her. She had got laid off. She started collecting unemployment. I'm like, you can do this, you can do this, whatever you want to do. She said she wanted to do art. So I'm like, all right, I bought one of her paintings. I was her first customer, just like the last check. I was there, I was her first customer, her first client. I'm always people's first. That's how much I support people. So this girl, I was her first customer for her paintings, paid full price, tagged her, all of that, encouraging her, telling her, you can do this. 
Try promoting it here. Try running Facebook ads. You could do little seminars teaching people how to paint. Like you could do YouTube videos. Like I'm giving her the play. How to really get this going. She don't want to listen. Then you're gonna get mad because she's not listening. Okay. You don't want to listen. Fine. I told her your unemployment check is gonna stop. So wouldn't it make more sense to start your art business? so that when they cut your unemployment, now your art business is in a place where it's generating money. Now you don't need your unemployment. No one wants to listen. All right, I laid off. I'm not gonna badger you. You don't wanna do it, you don't wanna do it. They, they cut her unemployment. Now, oh, I'm broke, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do, I'm so broke. I don't know, I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know. Oh, I'm so broke. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm paying my water bill. I don't know how I'm paying my light bill. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm working on a website and she's real good with her English skills and, you know, just proofreading. She knows how to add some words, you know, try to finesse it. You know what I'm saying? Like really just put it together. So I had asked her, I said, hey, I'm working on my website and I got my about me section. Uh, do you mind reading it for me? Just kind of proofreading, seeing how, you know, it goes, if you like it, if I should add some stuff, whatever, this, that, and the third. You know what she said? Yeah, how much are you, how much are you paying? How much am I paying? It was a favor. I asked you. Favor? I said, can you do me a favor? So, you're going to charge me? But I thought I was your friend. No? So she called me, because I left her on red. She called me and was like, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm really broke and broke people don't do stuff for free. And, you know, there's a difference between friendship and business. You know, you trying to give me a business one-on-one guide? I know there's a difference between friendships and business. But let me tell you about my business. I mentor people the same way I've been mentoring you and rooting you on and giving you ideas and helping you fix your credit and doing this and the third. I charge for that. Ask me how much she paid me for my business services. She didn't. It was free. It was always free. Everything that I've ever done for people has always been free. I have not once ever said to anybody, Oh, I charge this much. Why is it now when I'm trying to do something, everybody, I don't know, but they always give me, give me, pay me, give me, give me. It's crazy because I'm 31 years old. I was 30 last year, I'm 31 this year. And I'm just starting to see people for who they are. It's never reciprocated. It's never reciprocated. I go so hard for people every time. And anyone who knows me personally knows that is the truth. I am not sitting here lying. I go so hard for people. I love so hard. But the one minute you don't do what people want you to do for them, even though you've always done it, now that one time that you say no, oh, they don't fuck with you anymore. Now you're no good to them. The biggest lesson I learned is match energy. See, I never, I never looked at it as a, oh, well, I tag them, they gonna tag me. I never thought about that. I just did it. I never kept track. But it's like, you gotta remind people of what you do for them because then they act like they don't know. And I'm just trying to figure out why. And I realize I can't figure out why. I just know I'm not like that. It's difficult and it's challenging to understand mindsets that aren't like yours. I've never had the mindset of, oh, let me get however much I can get out of them until I can't get it anymore. I've never had that mindset because I know within myself that if they can do it, I can do it too. I'm starting to realize that whole phrase of keep your friends close with your enemies closer. It's like I fully understand that now. And I never really understood it before. But now I get it. 
It's like people who are close to you, people who see what you got going on firsthand, they're the most envious of you. And what baffles me is it's never a secret on how I did it. I don't keep it a secret and I don't charge them. Never kept a secret on how to build your business credit. I've never kept a secret on how to build your personal credit. Never kept a secret on how to build an audience. Never kept a secret on how to build a six figure business. I never kept that a secret. It was never a secret. It was always at arm's reach. So what are they jealous of? Because I gave them all the information. What are they hating on? Because they can do it too. But one thing I can say is it's real draining. It's tiring. It's exhausting. You think someone's down for you as much as you down for them. They're not. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say all my friends are like that. I only have a few friends, but I'm not gonna say they're all like that. But most of them were. It's only like one that I'm still talking to who hasn't done me like that. It was, a, it, was, it was a lesson to learn. And you know, when all this happened, it happened back to back to back to back. You know how sometimes you might lose one friend then like two years later you, you lose another one, then you might lose another one five years later. <laughs> no, it was back to back to back to back to back. I'm sitting in the house like, damn, is it me? Am I the problem? Cause you know, like when they say like, if everyone says a certain characteristic about you, it might be true. I spent a lot of time working on myself and really just trying to get to the root of why do I get so upset when people treat me like that? And I realized after a lot of counseling and a lot of just sitting in here and quiet and peace and just trying to figure out what's going on, I realized that it's because I always expected people to treat me how I would treat them. Biggest mistake ever. You can't think that. They're not. And for anyone who has gone through this or is going through this, what I learned is, and it's crazy because I was telling my, my hairstylist, cause she, you know, has some stuff going on. I was telling her what I learned. You could give someone I don't even want to say money. Let's, let's, let's leave money out of it. You could give someone support. I'm just keep it simple. You could give somebody support. You could be first in line at every event that they host. You could share everything. You could tag them and everything. You could tell the whole city about them. You could, po you could hand out posters and flyers all for them. Never collect not one dime. You can't expect for them to do it to, to you when it's your time to shine. Cause they're not. No, I won't say they're not. Not everybody is like that, but most people won't. Ask me how many times these females shared my YouTube videos. Do they even watch them? Mm -mm. No. And I think that sometimes people think that if you have a lot of money, you couldn't possibly be hurting for anything. And it's not that you're hurting for anything material-wise. You're hurting for the same love that you gave them. But people don't want to see that. And then what kills me is they make up excuses for what it really is. The girl blocked me from Facebook because I'm tired of having allergic reactions to your lash glue. And instead of just saying, yeah, well, I don't want to really fuck with you no more because it was really just about the money for me. Then it was a, it's the way you went about it. What you mean the way I went about it? How I went about it? I told you the truth. What else you want me to do? What you mean the how I went about it? That don't even make sense. You making up stuff, but just be 100. Bitch, it was on, this was only because you was paying me. And since you're not paying me, I don't need to be a Facebook friend. I don't need to be an Instagram friend. I don't need to be none of your friends. Why not just say that? Just say that. Don't try to spin it and make it like a something that it's not. Just to cover your ass. What you hiding from me for? I'm not going to beat you up. Just keep it 100. 
the girl who I told you was trying to do the art. Just say that you're really only here because of what I can do for you. Just keep it 100. Don't say, oh, well, we friend. No, we're not. Because when do you call me because I'm hurting? They don't. Nobody does. <laughs> no one does. No one cares. No one calls me to see how I am. People only call me when they want something. You know what I mean? So the biggest lesson I can tell you guys or anyone who's going through this is just don't expect the same energy. And I know it sounds crazy. I thought I scratched your back, you scratched mine. Everybody wins in my circle. If I figure out something, I'm gonna tell everybody else. Why I gotta keep it a secret? It ain't gonna affect me. Why, why only one person can get to the next level? Why can't we all? So he, he, a lot of people don't, don't, don't live like that. And honestly, I think it's because they don't think that they can. I'll never know what it is. It could be envy. I, I don't know. I don't like to think, oh, you know, it's always jealousy because people always try to say everybody trying to be a hater. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, I don't understand why it would be considering they had access to everything that I knew and everything that I did to get here. I told them, I taught everybody, but no one wants to use the information. I'm telling people how to start a business. No one wants to listen. They just want their hand out. I don't want to do that. Just give me your money. Then when I'm tired of not receiving energy, now we're not friends. Now you don't fuck with me. Were we ever really friends? Or you just saw dollar signs? It's been a learning experience. And I think God had to make me learn this now than later. Because later I'll have millions and I need to be able to identify these type of people now so that when I get to that millions and million dollar status, I know what to look out for. I think I was sheltered growing up. I don't think I knew that people had alternative motives behind stuff. I just never assumed people were out to get me. Even if the energy seemed off at the time it was taking place, I always was like, oh, well, you know, she going through stuff. Or, oh, it's probably because of this. You know what I mean? I always made excuses for how they treated me. I never thought in my head, oh, it's because they're a hater. Oh, it's because we're not really friends. I never looked at it like that. I just thought people were nice. And I still believe there are nice people. I know I'm a nice person. So I'm not even going to say that everyone's like that because I know I'm not. I don't look at someone and just envy what they have. I'm like, shit, how I get it too? What, if you gonna teach me, teach me. Let me figure this out. Let's, let's go. Can I hang out with you today? Can I, can, I, can I walk with you every day? Environment, energy, matches. So shit, if they can do it and I got this much access to them, shit, I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> like, I don't know. It is what it is. It's just a learning experience. For me, it's definitely just, it's definitely just made me realize some things I didn't realize before. And it definitely made me stronger. I'm not gonna lie, I, the past few months, I, I was struggling mentally. You know, it just, it kind of had a effect on me after a while. When it became back to back to back to back with everybody that I had talked to, it was like, dang, why don't nobody want to be around me? Like, why, why people keep treating me like this? Like, every time I got it, they got it. You know what I'm saying? They need some, I got you. We out, I got you. So I just never really understood what it was. But it's like, you gotta realize it's not you. Most of the time when people treat you a certain type of way, it's because of what they got going on. It don't really ever have anything to do with you. And once you realize that, and once you can accept that it's not you, it, it really just takes so much weight off of you. And it took me a few months to realize that. I'll wake up, I'll just be crying sometimes. I'll just be like, man, I just don't understand why people treat me like this. Like, and this isn't like a sob story or whatever. It just, it just, it's just showing you that I'm human too. I don't know what kind of 
thoughts people put in their head about me, like, oh, maybe because, you know, she is successful, she couldn't possibly be hurt about whatever. But that's not true. Stuff gets to me, you know, and I bleed just like everybody else. I don't think I'm higher than anyone. And I don't know if maybe that is why some people treat me like that. Like, they just think that because I can do it for myself, they don't need to do I, I don't even know. <laughs> None of it makes sense. But just if you're going through something like that, just realize that it has way more to do with them than it ever had to do with you. And at the end of the day, only hurt people hurt people. I've never been hurt to the point where I've needed to unleash that hurt to somebody else. Like I've gone through things, don't get me wrong, but I'm one of those people like if I'm going through something, I just shut down and nobody hears from me. I've never been that type to, oh, I'm hurting, so I'm gonna do some fucked up shit to them too. Never been that way, never. But not everybody thinks like that. I think some people feel trapped. So maybe that's why they treat people like that. I don't know. Um, I don't wanna sit here and try to dissect it. Just watch out, match energy. If you realize that people ain't, treating you right just move forward if you have a vibe it's probably the truth like 99 percent of the time it's the truth because as i reflect there were times where i was like i don't even think we're really friends but i just would make an excuse for it like i said i'll just make an excuse and now i'm like okay that was the vibe it was it was i was god was trying to tell me that before but i didn't want to listen so it had to come to this now i'm listening now i hear it you get what i'm saying I hope this helped you guys. Definitely leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Leave comments below. Let me know if you ever felt this way, if you've ever gone through this. If you have any words of wisdom to give me, I'm all ears. I'm just trying to work on being a better person, still spreading love and kindness. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.